Hey guys, it's me again, coming to you live from the Wayne School of Engineering. It's good to see you guys. I'm glad you're watching this right now. Now, we talked about the decline in Roman class. You were supposed to do some reading. Some of you did, some of you didn't. But here's the summary of what we discussed in class. Now, this is another part of your outline that you want to want to add. If you take a look up on the board, the first thing we talked we talked about or discussed that led to the decline of Rome was the division of the empire. All right, if you recall, Rome was huge. I mean, it was bigger than me, it was huge. And um, if they didn't have telephones back then, they didn't have modems, fax machines. So to monitor our, this entire empire was extremely difficult. Bureauc bureaucracy, impossible to monitor. So what Rome product decided to do was split it into Eastern and Western halves which made it a little bit easier to um, to run. Now this wouldn't have been such a bad idea, but if you recall, the Western Empire received the largest, um, excuse me, the Eastern Empire received the largest benefits from the split. The Western Empire received the less profitable areas. The Eastern Empire received the more profitable areas. So the Western Empire, where Rome was located, didn't get the major trading ports of in, in Egypt, didn't get the major trading ports in Greece. Okay, they got the, the less industrial areas, the less mercenaries, they got the farmers, which they had a good population, but not a good wealth base. The tax of citizens support a large army. Because of the, one of the things we talked about, about the empire being so large, was you had to defend it. Defending it is expensive. Creating an army that will defend a 10,000 mile front takes a lot of money. Maintaining the roads of that large empire takes a lot of money. And for the section that Rome got, didn't have that kind of wealth to support that kind of infrastructure. Okay, the second reason we discussed for the decline of the um, Roman Empire was government was coming less stable. If you recall when we talked, there was constant changeover in emperors. And what we discussed is when you have this constant changeover in emperors over and over and over, uh, policies don't stay the same. One day this may be illegal, then a few months later it may be not it may be legal. And the policies were constantly changing with the changing of emperors. And if you remember correctly too, a lot of times when Rome changed leaders, it was a very bloody affair. Civil war, generals fighting for power. Um, the third thing we discussed was the barbarian invasions. Um, and what is, you know, you know the two, band, the Vandals and the, I wrote the name off the board, but the Vandals and the Viscos, if I said that correctly. But the um, constant invasion by these barbarians weakened the outer edges of the empire, weakened the outer edges of the empire. They kept on hitting on the empire's outskirts pushing, you know, pushing into the interior. Finally, they sacked Rome, they took over North Africa. So the barbarians had a large impact on the, um, the fall of Rome because there's constant warfare on the outer, sun, outer rooms of the empire, which eventually made it down to the main empire itself and to Rome. Now, another thing we talked about was the role of Christianity. Christianity started, you know, taking over the Roman Empire, it, whenever you have change, whether it's good change or bad change, a lot of times instability comes with that change. And so as people were switching over to Christianity from their previous religions, things came a little less stable. And so if you add that change with all the negative things that we're talking about up here, and then you can, you, know, you can start to see everything that was leading to the decline of Rome. Now your next reading is going to be talking about some economic impact, impacts, impact, the economic impact, impact of Monday on um, fall of Rome. And what I want you to make sure you pay attention to is the um, the economic impact of slavery. Rome was a slave-based economy. Well, as you do your reading, what limitations did that place upon the Roman economy? That's what I want you to focus on. Okay. And as you're reading, think about the Civil War. And you don't know, we haven't studied, we don't study the Civil War until 8th grade, but 
try to make a comparison between slavery in the South and slavery in the Roman Empire, because if you look what happened in Rome and you look what happened in the South, it's, it's some, some parallel there. And so, guys, thank you very much, and thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.